Hi there, Kat Lewis here. So I have a nice variety of entry-level remote jobs I'm gonna share with you today. None of these positions require a degree and a couple of them have the potential to pay over $30 per hour. So we're not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna jump right into them. The first entry-level remote job I have comes to us from the company Cranial Technologies. They provide infant helmet therapy. They have an opening for a customer service representative. This is a full-time remote position for anyone anywhere within the United States. And there are a couple really cool things about this job. First of all, they tell us they'll train you in this position. And as we scroll down just a little bit further, we see they'll give you a $1,000 sign-on bonus. And as you can tell, they'll pay between $17 and $18 per hour. So what are you gonna do in this position? Your main responsibility will be to build rapport with families, healthcare providers, and insurance companies in a compassionate and efficient manner over the telephone. You'll play an integral role in the patient and family experience by expediting the insurance process while maintaining a high level of customer service. You'll effectively question and investigate benefits and eligibility for multiple insurances throughout the country. So they're looking for someone who's able to thoroughly research and pinpoint critical insurance answers to families in need so they can make informed decisions regarding treatment. So on a regular basis, you'll provide outstanding customer service via telephone. You'll also coordinate information between referring physicians, insurance companies, and the company's own treatment clinics. You'll obtain insurance authorizations, research, review, and effectively document benefits, eligibility, and authorization requirements. You'll accurately verify benefits and eligibility to ensure families can make an informed decision in regards to their costs associated with treatment, and review cost shares, co-payments, and financial responsibilities with the patient's families. So you need to be able to work well with a team as well as learn new things and apply those new things in a fast-paced, ever-evolving environment. They'd like you to have one to two years of customer service or related experience. And like I always say, if you ever dealt with the public in any capacity, that qualifies as customer service. So if you ever worked in retail, maybe you were a server, that's customer service. They'd also like you to have one to two years experience with computer software. You have an investigative, curious, and problem-solving mindset. You have strong organizational skills. You're able to multitask, you're detail-oriented, and you're personable, warm, and empathetic. So remember, this job offers a $1,000 sign-on bonus. They will train you. This one pays $17 to $18 per hour. If you like this job, check out the link below for job number one. Our second work-from-home entry-level job comes to us from ShareCare. They're a wellness company. They provide consumers with personalized health-related information, programs, and resources. They have an opening for a customer service representative. This is a full-time remote position, and even though it has a few locations listed here, so we scroll down just a little bit, they tell us this is a remote position and it can be located anywhere within the United States. And I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit more like I always do. I wanna see if this job tells us how much they pay, and I don't see it in this job description. But based on my experience, this kind of job, one that's entry level, doesn't require a whole lot of experience, this has the potential to pay anywhere from 16 to about 18, maybe $20 per hour. But there's no guarantee that's how much you'll make. You'll have to work that out with them. In this role, you'll handle inbound customer service inquiries and problems via the telephone as well as email, while effectively recording communications accurately and consistently. So a lot of the calls you receive are routine in nature, but they may require deviation from the standard screens, scripts, and procedures. So they want you to be able to think on your feet. You're a good critical thinker. You'll be using a computer system for tracking calls, information gathering, and or troubleshooting, and you may assess needs, explain problems, and suggest or promote alternative products or services. You'll identify, evaluate, and prioritize caller needs, questions, and concerns. You'll formulate plans of resolution, maintain and restore customer satisfaction. You'll also perform problem analysis, develop a rapport with callers, provide accurate information about ShareCare's programs and services, and escalate issues internally and follow up on escalated issues. And you'll do all that while meeting or exceeding established call center metrics, attendance standards, and quality levels. So they'd like you to have a high school diploma, and they prefer you have prior experience in customer service related field, and it's just preferred, it's not required. However, you do need great communication skills and you must be able to multitask. You have a general working knowledge of Microsoft Word and Outlook, you're comfortable using a computer, you're able to navigate the internet, you're able to work with a team, and you're able to thrive in a fast-growing, always-changing environment. So if this one interests you, check out the link below for job number two. All right, so job number three, this one is with Radiology Partners. They're a leading radiology practice in the United States. 
They have an opening for a hospital credentialing privileging specialist. This is a full-time remote position. You'll be working at least 30 hours per week, and you can work anywhere within the United States in this job. And I'm just going to scroll on down here. I want to see how much this one pays. Way down here, they tell us they'll pay between $22 and $24 per hour. So in this role, you'll be focusing on processing and maintaining provider facility credentialing information for the entire business. You'll compile and maintain current and accurate data for all providers, complete provider credentialing and re-credentialing applications. You'll also monitor applications and follow up as needed. You'll also maintain copies of current state licenses, DEA certificates, malpractice coverage, and any other required credentialing documents for all providers. You'll maintain knowledge of hospital-specific requirements for credentialing providers, set up and maintain provider information in the online credentialing databases and systems, track certification and professional liability expirations for all providers, as well as coordinate with hospital, center, and radiologists to complete the credentialing process and complete and review all applications to ensure accuracy prior to submission. They prefer you have experience in the healthcare industry, and it's just preferred, it's not required. However, they would like you to have knowledge and comprehension of the facility credentialing process. And if you don't have that knowledge, I'll put a link in the description below this video to a really good resource where you can pick up that knowledge. You're organized, you're able to prioritize your work, you have excellent verbal and written communication skills, you have excellent attention to detail abilities, and you're able to research and analyze data. You're able to work independently with minimal supervision. You're able to establish and maintain effective working relationships with providers, management team members, and contacts outside the organization. And you have proficient use of Microsoft Office applications. And they just repeat themselves right here. They want you to have knowledge and comprehension of the credentialing process. And again, I'll have a link in the description to a good resource for that. So this is job number three. This one pays between $22 and $24 per hour. If you like this one, check out the link in the description below this video. The next job we have comes to us from the company Fetch. They're a receipt rewards app. They have an opening for a marketing communications coordinator, and this is a full-time remote position. However, they do prefer you live near the cities of Boston, Chicago, Madison, and Birmingham, but they tell us there are no in-office mandates. If they find the right person who aligns well with the qualifications of this job, they're open to hiring candidates not near those offices. So if you don't live near one of these offices, don't worry about it. If this job interests you, definitely still apply. So I'm gonna scroll down here to see if they tell us how much they pay. And right here they tell us they'll pay between $55,000 and $65,000 per year, which comes to between $26.44 and $31.25 per hour. So what will you be doing in this position? You'll assist with the ideation, planning, execution, and measurement of campaigns across all channels. And those channels include email, push message, in-app messaging, and social. You'll own and drive key strategic pillars, including receipt snapping, sweepstakes, featured rewards, reactivation, surveys, and more. You do some operational management of marketing campaigns, monitor and report KPIs for various campaigns to larger marketing teams, and you'll do some cross-functional collaboration with creative, QA, product, tech, and other marketing teams. To qualify for this job, they tell us they'd like you to have about one to two years of work experience in marketing, communications, journalism, or a similar field. And as far as similar field, I'm kind of thinking if you ever did any kind of email outreach or something like that, that should qualify. You need to be detail oriented. You have a data first mindset. You have superb communication skills, both verbal and written. You're able to work independently as well as collaboratively. You thrive in a fast paced environment under tight deadlines. You also have an entrepreneurial spirit, you're a self-starter, and you have a sincere belief in the power of collaboration. And you get bonus points if you have experience using a marketing automation or email service platform. So don't forget this job pays between $55,000 and $65,000 per year. If you like this one, check out the link below for job number four. Our final entry-level remote job comes to us from the company Rocket Money. They're a financial app and they're looking for a growth marketing associate influencer. And like I always do, I'm gonna scroll down here to see if they tell us how much they pay. They will pay between 60 and $80,000 per year, plus bonus as well as benefits. And that salary comes to between $28.84 and $38.46 per hour. In this job, you'll play a key role in the execution, analysis, and optimization of all things influencer and partnership. You'll support and own the day-to-day -day optimizations and operations of user acquisition through the influencer channel. You'll contribute to the strategy and execution of the influencer channel to rapidly expand the reach while exceeding targets. 
You'll act as a key point of contact for influencers, talent managers, and agency partners. Utilize deep channel learnings to suggest optimization opportunities and brainstorm with the creative team to ensure the creative briefs are best in class. You'll work cross-functionally with data and engineering teams to ensure they have top-notch measurement capabilities. You'll take part in a strong culture of rapid experimentation, measurement, and iteration on the marketing team, and you'll be responsible for influencer sourcing, outreach, contract and rate negotiation, campaign execution, and campaign analysis. They'd like you to have one to two years of professional experience in a performance-oriented media buying role. They'd like you to have experience in digital marketing, and it's a plus you have experience in influencer marketing, but that's not required. Of course, you need excellent communication skills. They'd like you to have advanced Excel skills. You're excited to voice opinion, give and receive feedback, and you have good time management abilities. So if you like this job, this one pays between $60,000 and $80,000 per year. You can find the link for job number five in the description below this video. All right, we just went over five entry-level remote jobs. Hopefully one of them will work out for you. But if not, check out one of these videos right here. Maybe one of those jobs will work out for you. Good luck to all of you who apply. And as always, thank you so, so much for visiting. And I'll meet you on the next job lead.